Hello, everybody. My name is Lior Bakar. I'm a principal with Deloitte Consulting. Over my career, I have been focusing on working with clients to evaluate, design, and implement digital solutions to improve customer experience, reduce transactional friction, and drive revenue. As one of Deloitte, Deloitte digital commerce leaders, I had the opportunity to work with multiple commerce platforms. Over the years, we witnessed many technological innovations that provided improved user design, reduced implementation costs, and helped organizations across many industries to shift more and more of the commerce activities to digital channels. It is clear to me that the introduction of Gen AI would provide a new level of innovations that will radically change how companies and their customers are interacting. Our goal today is to start that conversation I'm glad to have Rohit Kachapal with me today to discuss this topic. Rohit? Thanks, Lior. My name is Rohit Kachapal, and I am Senior Manager with Deloitte Consulting. I've been focused on solving client problems across industries, bringing together the best technologies to offer with our world-class consulting practice. Having worked with leading commerce platforms such as SAP and Salesforce, along with highly custom solutions, I see new business models emerging B2B experiences getting closer to B2C and digital adoption solving problems like never before. Gen AI is bringing an opportunity of our lifetime to not cater just to our customer needs, but completely transform the way we look at it. Absolutely right. And there are many ways to describe the impact that Gen AI will have on digital commerce. One such way is personalizations. Software vendors and organizations have spent many years and a lot of effort towards this holy grail of interactions, the personalized experience. Whether you're a B2B customer or B2C customer, the concept that you will have a unique relevant experience is considered a key success for commercial benefit. And over the years, organizations spent a huge amount of money and efforts to provide their customers with such experiences. Now, with the advent of Gen AI, economical personalization at scale is within our grasp. Right, without driving too much into technical aspects of Gen AI, can you please provide a brief explanation of how Gen AI can be utilized to drive such personalization? Sure thing. At the very root of its working, generative AI is enabled through large language models that are highly condensed and optimized models trained with a very large volume of data. With complex algorithms and techniques such as instruction tuning, retrieval augmented generation, the models predict the user intentions and generate content and insights that are very specific and personalized. The capability can be applied to drive personalization across any industry and almost any topic. With the aid of these extremely sophisticated algorithms and very extensive computing power, Gen AI allows organizations to reimagine experiences and enable personalization at scale. This capability drives a clear business imperative for organizations to act now. We know that in recent years, there's been heavy focus on personalizations and at the same time, a growing pressure on how to do more with less. There are many statistics that provide clear rationale and to the benefits of driving personalized experiences. For example, 69 of consumers say that they're more likely to purchase from a brand that provide them personalized experiences. We learned that there's, there's almost two X greater likelihood that customers will purchase new products and new services when content is personalized and trust can be earned. And from a study that we conducted a couple of years ago, we learned that companies who provided personalized interactions were nearly twice as likely to exceed their revenue goals. In addition to personalization, when we ask our clients about other potential benefits they look for to achieve from the use of Gen AI, they provided a plethora of insights. We broke, down, broke them down into five categories. One, around engagement. We talked about personalizations, but beyond that, 
customers or clients are looking for customers experience that is consistent across all digital interactions. Revenue is, of course, a, a key one. With the powerful personalized content, meaningful product insights and recommendations, companies are looking to generate additional revenue on an order uh, value and as well as a lifetime value. Speed to market. Using the data sources such as order history, product catalogs, clickstream analysis, and others, Organizations can accelerate time to market through smart insights and automations of content and product introductions that better suited their customer. Delivery efficiency is another one. Generative AI opened up a new and smarter avenues to optimize workflows and automations. It can, if you can learn from proprietary, it can learn from proprietary sources such as your product manuals, your pricing sheets, order history to provide suggestions, what we call insights, on how to improve efficiencies and suggest informed best actions. This can significantly increase efficiency of delivering commerce solutions to your end customers. And of course, cost reduction. While we're extremely excited about the role of GNI in commerce, we also wanna make sure we discuss where we are in the hype cycle. Obviously, with the rapid innovations around Gen AI, this assessment itself changes daily. The hype around the hype around Gen AI might be creating false sense of readiness and pressuring organizations that to say that they're ready when they are not. Many of us are in the middle of this pressure to be executing on something that we might be ready to do so. While we realize that many of you are in the same pressure to say yes to things that you might not be ready to do. Therefore, we recommend that most of us should focus first on putting foundations of readiness in place. And of course, like a good consulting firm, we put together a framework to help organizations organize their efforts and thoughts around the use of Gen AI. There are several factors to consider and prioritize within your organizations to successfully drive value from Gen AI implementations. Make sure your Gen AI usage is reliable, transparent, and responsible above all else. Ask yourself questions such as, what are the tools are that are available to me? Is your tech stack can be integrated with the Gen AI solutions? How are you dealing with intellectual properties? How are you managing your data? Are you doing it in the right way? Do you know your target audience? It's important to figure out what you have and what you don't have before stopping, stepping into the Gen AI revolutions. Speed is not necessarily the name of the game in this part. It's important to be thoughtful and to prepare your organization for the complexities of leveraging Gen AI solutions. We also wanna highlight a couple areas that we hear top concerns from our customers. There is a cloud, and forget the punt, of understandable confusion surrounding the legal and compliance foundations for Gen AI usage and the worry about deploying it incorrectly that might erode customer trust. Around 65% of companies are concerned about the implications of their intellectual property. What are the legal risks? Well, we know that interacting, interactive Gen AI solutions are constantly getting better. At this point, customers can still tell, for the most part, if they're dealing with Gen AI solutions. We found that that simple fact can negatively impact our customers trust the brand by as much as 144%. Ruth, I know you had the opportunity to discuss this issue with several of your clients. Perhaps you can share some of the details you heard about the concerns. Are they real? What can we do to address those concerns? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we do discuss these areas with our clients every single day. And to address this, we have our own framework of Deloitte's Trustworthy AI. And we'll cover that more in the next slide. Deloitte's Trustworthy AI approach. Uh, you could go to the next slide. Uh, Deloitte's Trustworthy Gen AI approach at its core has frameworks and tools to help ensure that true enterprise value is unlocked 
with the right safeguards in place to enable a more trusted and impactful human experience. Approaching it from the perspective of a human, it helps answer how can Gen AI be designed, deployed, and adopted in a way to earn versus erode customer interest. For AI technology, and from the perspective of a machine, the framework helps make sure we approach and design the systems that have the elements of accountability and explainability baked in. This can truly help fully embrace Gen AI in the commerce workflow to confidently engage and trust in Gen AI generated insights, recommendations, and personalization. I think we have a framework on how this a visual of this comes together uh, in one of our slides next. Uh, so there you can see at a more macro level, also considering the organization itself, the organizations need to prioritize connecting various AI and Gen AI tools together across all business functions. This creates more holistic solutions, seamless experiences, and can truly unlock better enterprise value. In fact, some of our alliance partners, such as Salesforce, also have trust capabilities deeply integrated into their offering as a platform that incorporates security, technology, data, and privacy controls to keep organizations safe. The data itself that is used to train and test generative AI models may contain sensitive and personally identifiable information that needs to be obscured and protected. And we have tools available to do exactly that. Also, the data itself resides on private instance of the cloud partner ecosystem or locally within the organization infrastructure. So it does not get used for training and inference outside the organization. Lior, you mentioned that Gen AI is going to transform most organizations with the effective use of this technology. So obviously, trust is a critical part of any organization's planning to leverage Gen AI. How do we go about initiating this conversation, working out a strategy around it, and get going? Well, I'm glad you asked. We wanted to uh, utilize the, the many time we have today to discuss uh, three major steps we believe are important to get you uh, going with this journey. First, we want to offer the free use of Deloitte Gen AI Readiness Calculator. This solution allows you to score yourself between 0 and 100 by answering a number of questions. It will allow you to bench yourself against your, your organization against others in the industry and others. And as you go through the questions, it will provide some thought leadership around these topics, such as strategy and governance, enterprise readiness, technology and tooling, and data maturity. Whenever you're ready, you can just utilize the QR code on the slide to access the, 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 the survey. The next key step in this journey is deciding on your priorities and which use cases you want to focus on. You can see we leverage three dimensions to make selections around use cases. Trust, viability, and feasibility. When dealing with trust, you're looking at use cases, you want to ask yourself questions such as, am I really to ready to expose Gen AI generated content directly to my customers? Considering my customer segment, which customers would I want to expose content that's generated by Gen AI to? Viability. How viable the solution, the use case is to my business? What kind of revenue can I expect it to drive? And feasibility, how complex the solution is, how hard it will take to implement it, how long, and do a cost benefit analysis. We recommend you looking at those three, three dimensions and select the use cases that fall within the sweet spot to provide the best value for your organization. Another way to look at use cases or organizing use cases is around time frame. We utilize three categories to discuss those use cases. What's available right now, what's emerging, and what's evolving. This X axis that you see on the screen represent around three years, approximately. However, 
I can tell you that we had to revise this slide multiple times over the past several months. To get you started, we want to share a number of use cases that we have been working with our clients on or develop POC for, proof of concept. As you can see, we align the use cases around the key phases of the commerce interaction lifecycle. Another dimension we, we leverage in this analysis aimed at use cases that are impacting and interacting directly with your customers. And those use cases that are helping and supporting the individuals who manage the commerce platform. Great, I know you've been leading some of the development of those use cases. Can you please share some specific examples and discuss the benefits that we see them delivering? Absolutely. We looked at the entire life cycle of commerce. You see the capability map on your screen and applied the framework that Lior just covered to prioritize the areas that our clients can benefit from. We already have working solution in the areas such as product discovery and personalization. For example, for a business that has large and complex product catalog, we have a smart product discovery solution that utilizes large language models to add conversation ability of both voice and text. So it is multi-model enabled and it also retains user context. So it gets smarter and more personalized as it learns about customer behavior and intent over time. We're also combining the generative capabilities of GenAI around insights and content creation to guide its selling and personalization benefit the commerce users with more relevant content and commerce channel enablers with improved operational efficiency, such as in the areas of product enrichment. This is built with best of the breed tools with end-to-end -to -end data pipelines, deployment strategies, pluggable solutions that can work both with open source and commercial LLMs and within the organization's ecosystem of hyperscalers. Lior, as your clients look to utilize GenAI at scale, would you like to share some considerations for launching those efforts? Of course. Um, as we're closing out this session, we wanted to share a planning framework to help your organization to organize your thoughts and planning activities from developing a strategy, roadmap, and prioritized use cases like we discussed today, to making decisions around technical solutions and the platforms you want to leverage, to preparing your data to ensure that you institute the appropriate governance and security controls over your solutions. At the same time, we highly recommend you develop an operating model to align your activities and resources across the organizations. And last but not least, you want to make sure that your talent from executives to the operations personnel, they have, they have the right appropriate knowledge and training to make decisions to deliver your solutions. We want to thank you for taking the time today to join us. Obviously, we believe that Gen AI Commerce holds great potential but also requires additional analysis and planning. We hope we provided you with some productive thoughts around why you wanna do it and why and how to go about it. Some ideas around how to start and how to plan. Rait, any final thoughts for today? Absolutely. Thank you everyone for being with us today. I am very excited about the possibilities Generative AI can unlock. And we are working really hard to have frameworks, governance models, and solutions in place to help you on your journey and bring its true value at scale. Same here. I want to thank everybody for being uh, here. Me, myself as well, very excited about the possibilities Generative AI can unlock. And we're working very hard to build additional frameworks, governance models, and solutions to help you and others on your journey to bring true value from the Generative AI revolution. Thanks again, and feel free to reach out to Rohit and me if you'd like to further discuss these topics or any other questions. Have a good day. Thank you.